This is an example of our three and a half ton rated six meter protruding wheel guard trailer. It has all the usual features that we have with our trailers. It's galvanized, it has underfloor storage, unified construction ready trailer, includes electrical cable for legally required outline marker lights, educational support, three hours consultation. Let's have a closer look. It's got a 50 mil ball. It's got a proper jack stand. And as is our normal practice, we give you two compliance plates. So the trailer is rated to three and a half ton and that appears in the first compliance plate. The second compliance plate is for you to fill out. Let me explain that. The first compliance plate is for the trailer and it is rated to three and a half ton. Now at six meters protruding wheel guard, you're probably going to be able to build it for quite a bit less than that. So here in the second compliance plate, which has to do with the caravan, you can derate your caravan back to say 2,800 kilograms, for instance. If you build your tiny house and the all up weight, including your stuff, comes in at say 2,600 kilograms, you rate it at 28 and you can tow it with a lot more vehicles. So what's visible here are some aspects of the unified construction method, the floor joist tie downs, the stud wall tie downs with that strong horizontal bolting system. Also shown here are deck mounts on the front side and deck mounts on this, the driver's side. This particular customer got deck mounts all over, so they're at the coupling side, passenger, driver, and at the rear. The only other thing we would notice, that, which is standard with our tiny house trailers, is that we give you an extra spool of cable to run your outline marker lights. With this style of trailer, the protruding wheel guard trailer, we make the, the underfloor storage box, which is made out of aluminum, we make it a bit more shallow so that you get more clearance with the road because the whole thing is lower, that needs to be up a little bit higher. It means that it's slightly reduced uh, capacity, but still plenty of space for off-grid batteries and uh, plenty strong.